as aggressive as he was, he never making mistakes. He was always considered a master. I got to meet him personally uh, and didn't get to chat so much until actually the following year. Very, very intelligent. He took advantage of the success that he had. That's why he always landed top equipment. Uh, there's no question that he had some advantages in that respect and he made the most of it. Well, the lessons you take is obviously how composed they seem to be. In life, you always look up to someone that's greater than life, if you will, and what gives you the desire to pursue and, and continue and trying to be the very best. Everyone knows that uh, he was one of the best ever. You know, he was uh, one of the first ones, especially in Formula One, to have multiple championships. His career was relatively brief because uh, uh, he started, you know, later on in his, his, as far as his, his age is concerned. But at the time, that, that was perfectly, that's the way things were. In his time, he was the very best, no question. The attitude that he showed that was uh, full confidence. The adversaries look at you like that, you know, they figure, oh man, you know, <laughs> he's in control. And uh, that's psychologically, I think that really works. And he was, I think, a master of that. Hola, soy Juan José Carli, presidente de la Fundación Fangio, desde Valcarce, Argentina, lugar donde nació. Juan Manuel Fangio, el piloto más importante del mundo. Estamos muy orgullosos de que hayan incluido el nombre de Juan Manuel Fangio en el hall de la fama industria automotriz de Detroit. Nosotros por eso lo invitamos a esta ciudad para que vengan a conocer el museo más importante dedicado a un piloto que está acá en Balcarce, en su ciudad, y también verla asombrarse con la honradez y la humildad que él tenía. Nosotros estamos trabajando para que Fangio siga siendo Fangio. Muchas gracias y nos veremos pronto.